Hey, what's up, Homestead Homies? This is Off Good with Doug and Stacy. I'm Doug. And I'm Stacy. And you should never buy this from the store ever. Ever again. If you truly want to stay healthy, prevent inflammation, help with weight loss, and to get rid of all those nasty additives. <laughs> That you're dying to know what it is what you should never buy at the grocery store and that is store-bought salad dressing if you truly want to stay healthy and take care of yourself this should be the number one thing you should start doing because it's so inexpensive saving pennies on the dollar and so easy to do is to make your own salad dressing most salad dressings if you look are made with high fructose corn syrup which is not good by itself but besides that they're made with um, a lot of soybean oil and they're refined cotton seed oil and canola oils and they're all refined. Now when you look at these oils, even on some organic type um, salad dressings too, they're refined so they're very, very highly processed and by doing that it basically turns it into a mutant food and what causes inflammation in your body. And that's where sickness and disease will start with, with having inflammation in your body and you really want to cut back on inflammation. So if you could do anything, do things making with extra virgin olive oil. Um, avocado oils, sesame oils, those are all wonderful oils that are not refined and they are the best. So anything you look at, you want to make sure it's an unrefined oil. And all I need is just a couple ingredients. It's so, so simple. I made, and usually I put them in these mason jars, and I'm going to make one with you guys today. And they're very simple, like I said, cheap, cheap, cheap. I usually do about a cup or so, or I'll go three-fourths full on this. So to go like three-fourths part, we'll come out. Okay, so that's not, I probably did a little over half. I shouldn't say three-fourths. So about three-fourths part, and then I'm going to do half of that. And the thing that's so good about this is everyone's taste is different. So if it's too sour, add more oil. If it's too oily, add more um, vinegar. And then the thing that I'm going to do to sweeten it with, I'm going to either use maple syrup or honey. I already did maple syrup on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little honey to it to taste. You know, you can go, you know, three, four tablespoons of honey or maple syrup. And then you can add your seasonings. So I make homemade garlic salt. So I'm going to put a little garlic salt in there. And then you just shake it up. I don't want it to leak. And then you'll taste it to see how it is, if I need to add anything to it. I like it sweeter. So. I'm going to add a little bit more honey to it. Okay. And then you shake it up. Very, very simple and easy. It also makes a really, the honey, I really like with balsamic vinegar. So you can add balsamic vinegar, changing the flavors of the taste. You can go ahead and do this by infusing different herbs and spices that you have. If you have cumin or turmeric. And the way to do that is on the stove just heat up your olive oil with your spices and then they'll infuse in there and let it cool and then add your vinegar and that is a super way of doing it you can try different varieties i did one with some italian seasonings you could do that in there in your olive oil heat it up on low let it cool down um, and then put your vinegar in and it tastes great you can do rosemary so many different ways so you can just make up your own and then they'll last in the refrigerator a couple weeks and we use it way before then. You can put on marinades on your, um, on slaws, anything. So I want you guys to stop buying store-bought dressing and start making your own because it's very, very inexpensive and very easy to do and they taste great. So I want you to do it. So this is Off Grid with Doug and Stacy, and I'm Stacy, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. So anyways, we're going to talk about some uh, homestead remedies on something that you can grow very easily on your homestead and utilize um, 